Hi, I'm going to do a video for Photoshop 2022 for Windows using the Epson F570 printer for Windows. And I'm going to do, today I'm going to show you how to size your print and print it, and also using um, the profiles, the Epson profiles. Now I've noticed when I open this up, things have changed. Uh, Photoshop decided to, ch to uh, change some of its settings on me. It took me forever to figure out what happened. But let's go through that in case some of you have this and it has changed. So we're going to go to Edit and Preferences and start at General. For general, I have Adobe and the uh, HUD color picker. You can decide what size you want. I think that's this here on this side. I keep it at small, keep this the same. Uh, if you want the home screen to show when it opens, you can have that. Now, here's what I didn't realize happened. This was unchecked. <clears throat> I'm used to the legacy document interface, so I found that, checked it, now I've got it back. Um, I have export clipboard, resize image during place, always create smart objects. The next interface, I use the light color. I don't like the dark look. And this I keep the same. If you want to look at it, standard color default, full screen default, full screen black. Uh, you can choose what you want. Default on artboards. Uh, English, scaling auto, my font is small. Show menu colors. Uh, you could have channel colors if you want. Workspace. This is what I have. Tools. I guess I have most of these. Show tooltips, show rich tooltips, enable gestures, use shift key for tool switch. Uh, there's various ones, everyone's different. Um, you could do what you like. I don't have anything here. File handling. This was set to, it changed to Creative Cloud. I don't want it going there. The default location I have is on my computer. I changed that. Uh, save as to original folder. Save in background. Automatically save recovery. Every, I'm going to do it every five minutes. I'm also going to enable Save As. That was not checked. Uh, don't care about camera raw. I'm not doing the cloud directory. Okay, export. I like to export as a PNG file. I like to export it as transparent. And I want it to ask me where it wants to export. Uh, don't do anything here. I keep it as convert to sRGB, export assets to the last location specified, and use legacy export as. Performance, there's nothing different I do. Scratch disk, I don't do anything there. I have two cursors. You can decide how you want your cursor and what color. I should do precise, and then I should do precise. You could change it to what you like. That's up to you. Transparency, you can change these. The gamut warning, you can change that. Unit and rulers, I make sure I have inches. And 
I also changed my print resolution to 300 and my screen resolution to 300. Next guides and guides, grid and slices, that's up to you. Plugins, I have to set that up. Type, you can choose any of these. Mess with that. 3D, I don't do anything in 3D. And I don't do anything in technology or product improvement. And I don't participate. Okay, now we're going to go to OK. We're going to go to File. And now we're going to get a document. So we're going to go to New. And I'm going to do a 13 by 19. That's what I want to use right now. You could change it to any size you want. I'm going to show you how to do a 13 by 19. My resolution, I have preset for 300. Always use RGB color and 8-bit. Background, you can choose transparent, white, black, whatever you want. I'm comfortable with transparent. Color profile, this is what you're working in, not what you're printing with. So always use RGB. The 570 printer is an RGB printer. And my aspect ratio is square pixels. Again, you could choose what you want. Now I hit OK. Now I got my blanks, my board. So I'm going to go and get a picture. And I'm going to go place embedded. We're going to find a picture. Something I like. Something long. Okay, somewhere here. There it is. Okay. And you see it comes down like that. You can make it bigger. And you'll see the width and the height change when I lift it. Of course, you want to give yourself some room, too. Print, you don't want it exactly on the edge there. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. Then I'm going to double click on here and it will place it. And if you want to do add something else, I mean, you can add another graphic. Okay. Now I'm going to highlight them. That was not the right way to do it. I'm going to highlight that. Let me get rid of it. And I'm going to go place file linked. You can also do open, but that opens it in a new window. Tree. Okay, so we've got a tree. Let's say you want to put it in the background. Arrange. So you're going to go to Layer Arrange. <clears throat> and I'm going to send, send to back. Let me 
as you see, you can make it, you can add another picture on there. I'm just monkeying around with this. I think I'm going to get rid of it. delete that one. Oh, I took it out. We'll play with that next one. <laughs> Alright, so you've got this here. You're going to go to File and you're going to go to Print. <coughs> Alright, you can see it's a 13 by 19. This is your printer. You want to go to Print Settings and <clears throat> here is where you set your paper size. I've already set it. So what you're going to do is go to User Defined okay, and either Portrait or Landscape. I have it as Portrait. Then we're going to go to where it's the same as paper size, custom paper size. Always make sure you go to Inches. And I have it set to 13 by 19. Now, I know some of you are printing with the roll, so don't worry about that. It will still print on there. You don't change this to uh, the 17 or 24 inch roll. This is your picture, so you're going to hit OK. So you've got that set. Here's your roll of paper. You're not using the auto sheet feeder. You're using the roll. I have a 17 inch in there. It will, when you go to acquire, it sees what you have. Media type, very important. There are two. Do not use the rigid one. It will give you very dark colors. I use textile for everything. Even tumblers, mugs, everything. If you want to use the other one, that's fine. That's up to you. For Target, since you're using Photoshop, you want to choose Off No Color Adjustment because you want Photoshop to adjust everything. I usually do Maximum Quality. Make sure you don't have high speed on. Finest Detail will give you a lot of ink. Um, you can use it or not. I do. I use Print Preview to see what's going on. I don't do anything with layout. Mirror image is automatically set. Now in Advanced, I do the normal cut, auto rotate, and save paper roll. I don't do anything with these. And I hit OK. Next, we're going to go to our color management. Remember, we had our profile as the sRGB. That's what we work with. Color handling is going to be by Photoshop. You don't want to use your printer settings. And your printer profile, again, I have as the Epson 500. I have lots of prints. There it is. A different brand. And here's the textile. This has to match your print settings. They both have to say textile in media in your printer settings and Photoshop in your profile. Normal printing, relative color metric, unless you're using Face tones, or you've got a picture with face tones, then you would use perceptual. This is what you should be using. Get great colors. Black point compensation. Um, there you see the 13 by 19. We're doing it in inches. And really, that's it. 
and then you would hit print and it would show you the preview. I also have match print columns. So I'm going to hit done or cancel because I'm not going to print this. And that is how you do this. That's all you do. Thanks for watching.